Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new free online Mac assessment tool. So first of all, you can come down to the left hand side of the HSE books page. Here you can find the MSD assessment tool. If you click here, this will open up a web page all around both the free and the premium assessment tool. We have webinars and if you do wish to attend, you can always sign up here. There's an overview around the MSD tool and how it would work. Uh, there's also comparisons between the free single assessment and the full premium version. If you then slide down to the bottom, here you will actually find the link to get to the free single assessment Mac tool. By clicking through, this will take you to the page where you'll be able to see how you can access this beta test. So to access the beta test, you can click start using the Mac tool. This will take you to an introduction around um, what musculoskeletal disorders are, why it's important to follow them and what the law says. If you have previously used one of these before, you can skip this introduction. However, we do leave this in for those individuals that um, complete assessments infrequently. By clicking next, it will take you through to the structure of the MAC. And here you can do three different types of assessments, either lifting, carrying or team. There's also explanations on when not to use the MAC assessment um, and how these would not be appropriate for certain areas. But next, it will take you through to the section here where it will talk about the colour bandings, risk scores and how to actually complete the assessment itself. This next step will allow you to put the assessor's names in, the different site that it's required on, the department, the purpose of the activity, the location. Um, so this could vary. So for example, we have um, Norwich, floor two rather than floor one. You've got the different individuals involved. And what items are being handled? Well, they're boxes. And if you know their diameters, you'd be able to put those in as well. You can put the time that the task takes place. So this is a morning from seven to nine a.m. And then it will ask you if there's any indications that the task is high risk for other um, issues. So there has been an employee struggling to do the work, which is why we're looking to run this assessment. Um, the task also needs to be completed before nine o'clock, which is the start of the work day when the corridors become very busy. Um, because of busy corridors and people entering. So once you've completed this area, you'll be able to then click next. And here there'll be a checklist. This checklist will um, allow you to click if they are applicable. However, if you do click on any of these, then um, the tool would actually recommend you go and complete a full risk assessment, which can be found by clicking on this link here. Um, however, if you don't click on any of these and they are not applicable to the task, you will be able to continue. So it is a team task. However, if it's just one individual involved or a lifting task, you can click the relevant areas there. But because there are two members involved currently, we're going to click through on teams. You'd be able to look at the different load weights um, and which is applicable. You'll be able to observe the hand distance from lower back and see how they relate to these images. The vertical lift zones, hands below knee and or above elbow. So you can see where you need to lift the item to. Is there any torso twisting and sideways bending? Again, there is actually some that I'm observing. So this might be something that we want to observe and retrain in the individuals. Are there any posterior constraints? At present, there's none. And grip on load. So the items that are being held are boxes. 
you can look at the floor surface. It's very clean in, in that stockroom, so we're very good. And the carry distance. Are there any obstacles on the route? Again, you'd be able to complete this based on the observations. And the communication that you observed, was that decent? Um, was there coordination and control or was it quite poor um, and something that needs to be focused on? Were there any environmental factors, particularly cold, dim lighting? Finally, you'll be able to see the scores here. And then something that is new to this online free Mac assessment tool is that you'll now be able to add some control measures in place. So for example, can you eliminate the task? You can't. Um, and this might be that you could eliminate it by using trolleys or, or conveyors or, or something that automatically drops off the, the stock into um, the cupboard room, but you, you won't be able to at this time. The load weight, it wasn't actually, it was a medium risk. So you can see it wasn't particularly bad and it can't be removed. Torso twisting and sideways bending was definitely one that we may want to put some control measures in. Training on lifting um, for the two team members. Um, also offer guidance around communication. So at this point, you can click next. And you can see the control measures that you've uh, put in place. Then you'll be able to send a copy of this to yourself via email. It will ask you to enter this twice so that you don't make a mistake. And then this will be sent over to you and you will receive this through a lift report. You'll be able to see the assessment and if you've implemented any control measures. Um, and so you'll be able to store this through your own records. Now, if you were interested in the premium, there's a link in the email through to this as well. We also want to make you aware that by coming back down to the free single assessment Mac tool, you do have the opportunity to get, offer us feedback as well. Because the product is in beta testing, we are very interested in the feedback of how you're finding the usage of the free and premium tool. You can click through here and offer us some uh, feedback around that. Thank you very much for your time. If you do have any more questions, um, you can always contact us with this information at the bottom here, um, my telephone number or email. Um, and I thank you very much for using the free Mac assessment today.